Hey, everybody. I was not showing my face right there. Welcome back to part two of session two of Zodiac the Next Generation. Keep in mind, you can always drop us a like, follow, subscribe down in the description below. You can also follow us on Patreon. Join our Patreon as whenever our new open slots happen, first come, first serve for anybody who's in the Patreon itself, because those slots fill up like that. I just posted about two new slots, uh, I think, two days ago, everybody, I think. And one of them is filled and the other one's about to be filled. So, yep, things are moving. Anyways, we're less. We left off. Reyna took the majority of the party into the diplomat station here inside of Maida, looking at the very beautiful building that surrounds this area and that represents each of the territories inside of Zodiac itself. However... Nobu managed to slip away quickly, only being seen by the trusted companion and attendant, Keys, the adorable Kinku, who only speaks in sounds that he's heard before in his life. Hi, Biscuit. How's it going? Nobu, you found the office to the bridge burners. You opened it up and then you walked inside. As soon as you walk in there, you're immediately hit with a smell of musk. Like, what's th that thing that happens sometimes when you get nervous? I, you think it's called sweat? Almost. Oh, I've never sweat before. Uh, do I? I'm just going to keep walking until I see it and keep asking, do you do tattoos? You walk through a bunch of people and they all seem to be seated around chit chatting with a bunch of holsters on their bodies, but no weapons or armor men. And as you're walking around, they all look and go. Just ignore you and keep moving. Uh, Keys is also mimicking you. Do you do tattoos? Do you do tattoos? I'm going to say I have money. I have money. I have money. And he's pointing at you each time he says that. <laughs> as you say that, uh, Roll me your persuasion, Nobu. Oh, God, I feel weird. That's not too bad at that. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's about right. <sighs> Alrighty. You keep offering to people and they just keep like playing their go fish or whatever people do. You're not really sure. Uh, it's definitely cards are involved and these colorful looking chips, too. Mm, it's pretty fun. Um, and as you walk past, one of them looks over at you. Blinks a couple of times. It's a. It's a female human who's wearing some type of light brown poncho in addition to very tight pants. Uh, her brown hair is matted, messy, and big, and she has very bright violet eyes that can dart quickly between you and Keys and everybody in this room. She looks over at you and leans back and goes, You're uh, looking for some tattoos? Uh, yes, y yes, I'm looking for a tattoo. Actually, I have a bunch of ideas in mind and I have all the money that you'll need to do it, I'm sure. No luck on that fate, Wyatt. Sorry. Okay, I thought that would be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here. Uh, but anyway, she, she looks back and forth and goes, Well, I know where you can get tattoos done. Oh. Here? Nearby? I can't really go. No. Nearby. You have to go to the uh, Bridge Burners encampment to get it. Is there a fast way there? Can you like... Horses are pretty me? fast. Oh. Teleport. Yeah, you know, like that thing wizards do. Magic. <laughs> I am aware of magic. Thank you. Listen, I'm heading back over to the barracks over there in a couple of days. If it's just you and your bird friend, you're welcome to accompany me. Oh, I have a fish. And a sailor. And a cousin. 
How many people? And a mouse. Uh, uh, crap, it's going to be uh, nine. Six. Yeah, nine total. I'm counting fish. In the- <laughs> That's a lot of people. We might be able to work something out. Travel up there. If you need to get a tattoo, I can point you in the right direction. Uh, my Ooh, name is to- Griselda Tattersell. Griselda Tattersell. Well, it's nice to meet you, Griselda. Um, I'll probably be there soon. You also know a place that, like, for little people to live that's abandoned. Just she just keeps you. staring at you, looking back and forth between you and Keys, and Keys just keeps repeating what you just said to her. Thank you, Keys. <laughs> no. Oh, that's unfortunate. But I can point you towards Rainer. Rainer. He's our. Uh... Leader at the bridge bonus. You are aware of Rainer Humstatter. Uh, he's an average build, but fairly tall human uh, adorned in very expensive studded leather armor with a constant five o'clock shadow uh, that suits his middle aged face very well. Uh, his salt and pepper hair is always styled, like always. And he is the representative for the bridge burners here in uh, Terra. Okay, well, thank you. Um, I'm going to probably go find my cousin or Sebastian. Bring him back through here. Say six hours we'll leave. By that time, I should probably be a little more sober. Oh, you're not so... Oh, you were going to give me a text. Okay. Bye, friend. Keys looks at you, looks at her. I have money. Just points at you. And a sword. Just so nobody gets any ideas. Roll intimidation. Oh god. That was, uh, one. Uh, yeah, one. this is about to be a nat one. Like, I have any rolls like it was. Yep. <laughs> yeah. She chuckles and yeah, you can leave. <laughs> So around the time that the other conversation is coming to its natural conclusion, uh, seemingly out of nowhere, Nobu and Keys both appear back with the rest of the party. Uh, Nobu, as you were walking up, you saw Rain talking one on one with uh, Rodan. And after that, Drake kind of walked up and started having a conversation with her. And then you just slip in acting as natural as possible. Okay. And she's just like fuming. Like she's she's keeping it together, but like I'm gonna go up to Sebastian (laughs) and be like, what happened? Well for one, you're a terrible wingman. We turned around to introduce you and you were gone. No, I left I left you guys with Dairy. Yeah. Yeah. Roden wasn't impressed with Gary. What? (laughs) You look over at Ulrich, who's currently holding the bowl like fingers in the water. And the water's just a little bit murky. Gary, get his fingers. You single bubble. You leave your mother's side for a few days and you forget to go to the bathroom before we leave the house. Hey. Didn't go to the bathroom, but yes, pretty much. Um, why? Why is Rain mad? Because I had to talk with Rodan. That's why. Oh. Rodan seems like an idiot as per usual. Always just a fucking asshole. Ulrich has been ashing on the floor this entire time, like he's walked over to the carpet specifically to ash on it and just keeps walking. By the way, here's your fish back. Hands it back to you, Nobu. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Your punishment is carrying that. Punishment. You know what you did. 
you know what you're I don't know what you're talking about, sir, but if you want me to have another ashtray, sure, I'll take it from you, no problem. Don't worry, he doesn't really do. <clears throat> yeah, we'll be sure of that. And he just starts ashing <laughs> in the bowl. <laughs> By the way, everything he's saying is almost incoherent, except to the person he's talking to. He's very quiet and soft-spoken. Well, oh, I, I met the bridge burners. They are you did what? I went to get a tattoo, and I met the bridge burners. Keys was with me, don't worry. Keys looks at you, I smiles. <laughs> I have money, points at him. <laughs> Ooh, what'd you get? Uh, some advice. Oh. And a, a possible job offering, but we don't want to do that. The, the you all can travel with me heading back there, and I can introduce you to Rania. Calm Stater, that was his last name. Yeah. Rain, um, you're fully aware who uh, Rainier is. He is the representative. He's not actually the leader. He just does the diplomacy. The leader of the Bridge Burners is a woman by the name of Janet. We won't need to talk to them. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little later today and see if we could get horses or a carriage to go and uh, talk to your people, Moose, um, because we've been asked to uh, have a demonstration of what your people will do and who they are um, so that we can find the best home for you. They're very, very, uh, very. Uh, I know how to crochet. You look for your sticks and they're not there. <laughs> yeah, it seems like we need to get together like a list of you know, what you guys can bring to a community, like give them a reason to let you stay there. That That's the vibe I was getting. And I'm starting to think that anywhere we go, they're probably going to ask very similar questions. I like, what well, did they do? Where did they come from? Like, why should I let them live here? That kind of thing. What are you saying, Fixer? Drake? <laughs> Good talk. Yes, can I help you? I thought you said something. I said yes. Okay, cool. Uh, Continue. <laughs> any ideas on this? <sighs> well, them bringing something to the table is important, but we have to know what they bring to the table. Now, your charming friend, Rodan, was not incorrect in his statement that he cannot have just anyone come in here and not provide for the community. Because they can't just have someone living for free. That is what the refugees are, no? I mean, if we do something like that, we're going to need to find a way, like we were talking about, maybe like a tinkering place. You had suggested maybe they were could provide creating something to bring... Mida up. I think finding a place that is not like Morian, who is pretty high on the the table for one of the larger communities nowadays. So possibly a place that needs infrastructure, that needs something to set them at another level. And a community where they create stuff. You said tinkering use? I can tinker, I can crochet. Um, what what can your people do as a whole? What what is like the thing they can do besides hiding in holes? They could be spies. Spot spy network. Yes, that is a possibility. Uh, my 
my brother knows how to work. What do you call it? Um, we found some. Well, we found a, we found a dead. What do you call it? Bior. We made a house out of its skin. What is a Bior? I'm sorry, as a DM, I don't know what that is. It was him butchering boar. Oh, okay, continue. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I am. Um... Okay, so um, potentially. We can do a lot. Working. Now, uh, my brother. Leather, is that what you do when you take the dead skin of things and make stuff out of it? Yes. So My it's... brother can do that. What'd you say, Drake? So it sounds like you have a lot of craftsmen. <laughs> like, simple craftsmen. They all are very yes. with their hands. Yes, we can do a lot. Um... I don't have any demonstrations on me. It's fine, but it's, it's a possible. He like, he like grasps his hands in the air, just. Dude, like he doesn't know what to do with them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, um. I understand wanting to be protective of where your homeland is, but if we were to go and absolutely fairly purchase things that your people have made and bring them back would that to, sh to show what your people can do and how helpful they can be would that be a fair i have an idea i used to work for a show and entertainment we showed our skills such as that and people paid to come and watch now not necessarily they will pay to come and watch but say we bring some of your community with already crafted goods that we can procure we bring them to certain cities and we show off from the outside what you can do we have them come look come meet them and you can have different shops where people can see the goods you all can provide. And you get them hooked on it. And you get them hooked on you. I mean, you have a natural charm that people are already drawn to you. And if the others look anything like you, people will be hooked and will want to see more of you. I was going to say he produces like a small like a wood chip with a carving on it, but he doesn't have anything. <laughs> can I have my stuff back? Where? Yes, we can get your things. So you all start walking out? Sounds like a circus. You, you guys could be traveling merchants at that point. It, it, it is a circus, yes. Mm, traveling merchants tend to get robbed a lot. But he's hey, robbing. Hey guys, can can I get a hand? <laughs> you laying on the floor. I would have I would have picked him up. I, I imagine you're doing the worm. The whole, I, I would have picked him up on the way out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Funny enough, you're only slightly slower than the rest of the party when you're crawling in worm form. <laughs> <laughs> Got to build those abs. Ugh. You guys want to play night crawlers? No. Uh. But yes, as you all make it outside, um, the guards who were there before walk over to you, hand you all back your weapons, unclasp you, Palando. Nice. Yeah. And you finally get that itch at your ankle. You've been dying to get this whole time. I'm going to check to make sure they didn't put my viol out of tune. Roll a uh, roll your instrument check using intelligence. You hear something in there, rattling around. 
I'm gonna look in. Does a viol normally have a hole in it? Yeah, they have grooves along the sides. Hmm. Traditional ones do. It's the modern ones that don't need it because they're electric. Huh? Sound hole, like the sound hole, like a guitar. Sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. Except yeah, it's more it instrumental on the sides. Yeah. And as you start looking in there, there's the tiniest little pebble that's just like moving around back and forth. I'm just going to stare, just glare at one of the guards. And they stand staring directly at the town. I'll be sure to leave a yelp. You need a hand with that? Says the, he I... says the smallest character there. <laughs> just reach in there and like turn it upside down a little bit so if you can right. get near it, like trying to fish yeah. it. He like sticks his, like squishes his head through it. Just Oh yeah, your mouse. You can fit in anything two inches tall pretty much. Uh, <laughs> roll me a sleight of hand, please. Uh, I'm not trained, so yeah. It's gonna be a wonderful thing. Has it rolled? Not yet, no. Oh, there it is. It didn't show up to like confirm everything. Ah, uh, there it is. Sixteen. It, it takes you a little finagling, but then you drag the tiny little pebble out. There. See. That's one use. Yeah, I I actually think that kind of so. To sum up, Drake, uh, your idea for them is basically like a crafting show, advertising themselves and saying, "Hey, we are looking for a home and." Doing that to sort of a representative group. Indeed, Palando, an antiques roadshow, a crap fair. <laughs> As Ulrich is like walking past all of you, Rain, you just hear him under his voice just go, uh, "Yeah, they could be really good chimney sweeps too." Just keeps walking. And Rain just is like, mm, okay. Um, <laughs> He has oh, a lot of just... sass. He has a lot of sass. <laughs> Mental image of moose covered in soot. <laughs> it's so fluffy. Um, so, yeah, I, um, that isn't bad, actually. Um, Moose, do you know of anyone else in your uh, community that would want to do that? Who would be willing to, to travel a bit with their wares and show them off? Will there be attention? Yes. No. Maybe. But what if we were there to guard you? Yeah, and the the attention, you know. Are they going to privacy. look at? Sorry, go ahead. No, I was saying that the attention would, you know, lead to privacy. Once you are settled, then you can, you know, go about your business. But you need to communicate to people why you're a, can contribute to the the group. You know. Also. If Wherever we're heading, if it's up north more, um, Bridge Burners offered us pretty much a free ride there. And I was talking to them. But I, that, that, that's an option if we need to get something. Uh, 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 Junior, there are reasons why we travel in small groups, remember? Like would be safer with, and she kind of like points at one of her fangs very discreetly. Oh, oh yeah. How many people notice? 
that she just goes Joking. like this and touches me. Yeah, um, yeah. No like, boo. Yeah. And of course, Sebastian. Notice. None of you have insane passives, so you guys aren't picking up on bullshit. I love this game. Nobody's allowed to take uh, Observant. <gasps> Not um, until level eight. <laughs> okay, then uh, that gives me chances. I'm fucking with you, dude. I'm just. <laughs> Can I go visit that train for just trying to. If we're not really doing anything, I guess. Other than waiting. Yeah, I, I mean, if we. If the idea is to travel to where the mouse folk are, we would probably be best to set out tomorrow. Um. Is that I, I mean, Moose? This is this is your show. This is your your deal. It's what you think your people could do and want, and we're all just throwing out ideas here. Okay. Um, Dorena goes over to you, Reina, and just like pokes your side. Yeah, she's been following from far behind this entire time. She's more of an observer. She walks over to you and goes, um, so the allowance for the estate for the month is, uh, she hands you the gold and then takes three pieces out of it. <laughs> and the gold you have on your person, that is the actual allowance. So I don't add anything to it. No, no, no. What you have is your allowance from the estate. Since you don't work, like you just you get an allowance for being the nobles and well, helping I mean, the, the community. Gets... Right, right. But like that's it's an allowance. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. So you have that amount of gold and she's like, I'll give this over to uh, Prida to handle everything else. Well, hopefully that so five that's that she what you use these for. He takes he takes <laughs> out a gold coin. Notably, that's they have button. null marks on them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what it's it's for, Moose. All right. Um. Well, if you need time to think about things, um. I I need a I need a minute. Um definitely Sorry, go ahead. Um and she's just like pacing at this point. Um if you need just time to think about things, um you're more than welcome to take them. I need to blow off some steam. Um What's the name of the um, uh, attendant that's calling you? The there's Dorena, who's the half elf, and she waves Durena. at you. you. And Ulrich is the guy, and then there's Keys, who's the Kinku. Which nobody will ever forget about Keys. As he begins Nardo running. Down the street. Uh, Dorena. She looks over at you. Yeah. Uh, Drake pulls out a, a sack of coins uh, for allowing me to stay in the food. How much do you hand over? Five coins. All right, she'll take that and I'll pass that along to Prida. Thank you. Rose is just like slowly inching towards her. And like just holds up the gold coin. You give her a single gold coin. She'll take it. Th thank you. Nobu goes in for a hug with Gary. <laughs> she <laughs> sidesteps and keeps walking. <laughs> of no, no, in the bag is one of my business cards. Of course, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't nail it to the door. <laughs> like, 
there's just a breadcrumb trail of <laughs> business cards to the home. There's one left in the Mida. I haven't been in the royal section of the Mida area, so I just kind of left it there on one of the tables as well. I have to get more made soon. You do, and they're pretty expensive. They're like a, uh, a silver piece each. Pretty expensive cards. Oh, you gotta get the finest. So oh yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Oh god, now I need that scene brought up. I'll, I'll message it to y'all. American Psycho. Yeah. Well, Moose. Um. Does that plan sound good to you? Yes. Okay, um, well, at least gives us something to do. Um, uh, all right. Um, we'll need rations. We'll need, I'll see if the order will allow us to borrow horses and a carriage. We'll need just, we'll, we'll need kindling. We'll need, oh, God, there's a list. Um, Dorena. She's already taking it all down. Uh, and then she'll just go through everything that we'll need. Okay. Um, if you could get it from the order, that would be fantastic. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, they're not going to give us horses. Because. Yep. She just scratches her tattoo again. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Some people in the order are super are. chill. Some of them are concerned. <laughs> I have my goats. Um, uh, and you, yes, you are in the right in this, but like it's they're politicians. Yeah, well, the frustrating thing about them is you can't take a sword to their head. <sighs> um, let's see. I mean, that's one way. <laughs> It's a fantasy game. Resolve all issues with blades when it applies. <laughs> it always, uh, is so helpful. And, and there is a rather sensitive topic, meaning coming from that, that we'll need to talk about um, if we all embark on a trip together. Um, I'll see if the the stables in town will let us rent a horse or two. Or, Mr. Fixer, do you want to prove yourself helpful in this endeavor? I have no connection to that kind of thing, no. <laughs> but there's no reason I can't try and grease a few palms. Well, if you could do that, that would be very helpful. So, Hey, Nobu, didn't you say the bridge burners were going to take us up to their camp or something? Were they oh, yeah, but transport? don't worry, we're better, we're better off without it crowd you know you don't want a tattoo now i do want a tattoo i really do want a tattoo it's actually been eating me up since since the sleepover last night why do you want a tattoo so bad because because it's artwork and it's on your body and if i don't like it i'll just rub it off it's like it work. What? yep <laughs> <laughs> a few talks along the way junior. junior i'll put my arm out to him and be like there you go try and rub mine off i'm gonna try to rub it off <laughs> no boo this is the longest you've ever touched another human being you're so warm, warm. <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay what do i have to roll to get off that too roll me a strength check oh god my skin <laughs> it is oh, wow. he rubs aggressively to the degree that you actually take two points of fire damage from the just friction against it and it's not coming off hmm. wow you really need to take a bath um yes uh -huh. tempt fate <laughs> wait can, is someone someone's doing fate? it someone's doing it oh my god <laughs> <laughs> it rubs off no who's probably still gonna get a tattoo why don't you why don't you try his other arm? Maybe it'll work. Okay. Do I need to roll another strength check? Sure. 
Oh god, it's not gonna be as good. Oh wow. <laughs> this time, as you rub against it, it slowly fades from sight around his shoulder. <gasps> Wait, what? I, I told you guys. What did you do? I <laughs> I wiped it off, you know. They're you supposed could... to be permanent. <laughs> well, it obviously wasn't. <laughs> Looks like you need to get a tattoo, too. Looks like we're all in desperate need for a tattoo. All right. Yeah, we're definitely going to the bridge burners. Palando. Uh, fixed. Palando, um, after about five minutes, the tattoo does reappear on your shoulder, though. Oh. Oh, maybe he just pressed really hard and it. The picture changed. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> so, no actual question: What the fuck happened? So, attempted fate, Sebastian. and they got high enough. Commando, you guys want to race to that box car thing? <laughs> yes, let's go. Okay, I'm blade singing. All right, <laughs> I start bouncing uh... up and down and stretching, Ugh. singing ten feet faster every turn. Cute. Uh, then isn't that? Hey, that's an equal range. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm gonna let him get about fifty feet ahead of me and just And go. I'm and gonna I'm the back. both my step of the winds. What'd you say, Drake? Uh, You're muted. I, I am? No, no, no. The noise gate you have to speak more loudly or it won't pick you up. Alright, yeah. I was saying that uh I'm gonna slap uh, Nova Jr. on the back and say, uh best of luck, pal. I'll give him Bardic inspiration. Okay. Uh Palando, what's your base movement? Uh 50. Catch up. Catch <laughs> Nobu, you, ha, 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 you're running so quickly with your blade song, like you're sprinting and then Polando <laughs> right past 50. you. Uh, uh, human yeah, variant. Mobile. Yeah, and mobile. Yeah, yeah. So as you're running, Nobu, you're like, I'm so fast. I'm the fastest kid. Well, I didn't really have other Sweet. kids to compare to, but I'm the fastest kid and Polando just... <laughs> Runs okay, past I'm, you. I'm cheating. I am speaking. You're cheating. I'm summoning. I'm summoning Gary in front of Polando. Barry. Gar Gary. Gary, your fish. Yeah. Okay. Polando, in front of you, the fish just appears. Get him, Gary. And just slams him into bro. your chest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you stop or? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, Gary's now flopping <laughs> around aggressively. <laughs> He didn't fall more than I'm five feet. He was at, at a regular pace. Yep. Chink, Clint chink, and chink, and chink. Heartbreak chink. Ridge. Okay, Rain is not too. even. She's just. Yep. Just. I'm walking slowly. On the pace. Alrighty. So you really all. Much exhaustion. <laughs> well, knowing you, you probably just do. <laughs> just. <laughs> But anyways, you all continue traveling forward until eventually you make it over to the very beautiful red slipper. This unique magic shop that is in the shape of some contraption that none of you recognize what it is. Moose, I would like you to roll me a history check. Or sorry, a, uh, a tinkerer's check using intelligence. Twenty six. <laughs> not 26 23 no. yeah, yeah, okay i was about to say you, you're not expertise yet um no, you look sorry, at that and you're like six. now that you're this close you're like that's a train you've heard about other tinkerers trying to construct this to hopefully get away from the scary things but every time they made it the scary things would eat it <laughs> moose is looking in the air <laughs> You look around cautiously. <laughs> but as you all, um, yeah. Is, no, Durain uh, went away, right? Who did? Uh, Durain. Yes, she did. Can one of you wait outside? Keys looks over at you and smiles. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. He's looking at the boxcar. What is... What do you need? I'll wait with you. Things eat that. It's been here... 
longer than I can remember. Then longer than anyone else can remember. What do we start? Keys walks Good over friend. to you, Moose, and you hear him go, oh, It's so big! I don't like that he has that one in his <laughs> yeah, out of character. vocabulary. <laughs> what did he sneak peek on? I have important phrases, about 59 options. <laughs> That's just important phrases. I got cash one of them. That should be like one of the big ones. <laughs> Moose is going to take a single step onto the first like train step, like to get in there. It doesn't Stop creak or move at all. It is going to stay there for, for a few seconds. Oh, just... wait, you stepped on it. Yeah. Doo doo. <laughs> I have a gif and it's literally just a mouse running in circles <sighs> it's important to face our fears let's go inside yeah don't worry that's normal can I try and start like forcing him towards the door like hurting cats oppose strength checks can I make it a text check to jump? It's strength. I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Drake. Okay. Ooh. Go ahead, Drake. Moose, unfortunately, you're picked up easily and brought inside. As each of your footsteps go over the threshold, you hear boo boo. This will attract a beast. <laughs> Keys walks in and just boo boo, and just keeps walking. Um, or inside. <laughs> as you all step inside of here, you look around at the very vibrant and lovely, colorful array of interesting objects. The side cars that would typically be seen in these periodic trains are filled with shelves and chests that have interesting glowing objects on display radiating with natural or supernatural light and exterior as well as these beautiful large chandeliers that stretch across the ceilings all around you as you all step inside of here those of you from this location i mean of course you have seen it a hundred times rain you whenever you have to walk around and do your meet and greet for the local elections because everything's election based um however everybody else you've never been in a shop this beautiful with this many extremely expensive things and bright lights don't break anything anyone this looks like morian i'm gonna race summon gary into his hole Palando's he's been floundering for like a minute outside <laughs> oh <laughs> that poor fish it's okay gary <sighs> inside the inside the mind of gary constant screams <laughs> i have like all this stuff written on gary's character sheet about nobu that he hates so you all hear somebody walking down the cars, just boop, 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 and over time, you all watch as a very interesting female gnome steps outwards. They exist. I'm going to eat and be like, what the hell is that? What do you think I rolled a wisdom save? <laughs> <laughs> it's slightly bigger than you, but its nose is as big as everyone else's. She looks around and smiles. Now, this gnome is wearing a blue tunic with yellow highlights and a long red pants that bunch up around her shoes. Her shoes are like hooked kind of like Aladdin style towards the very tips of them. And she has blonde hair that is drawn into a tight ponytail with a skull scrunchie 
at the very top of it. Her eyes are green and beady, and she looks around and immediately smiles when she sees Rain and then drops her expression when she sees everyone else. Hello, my name is Martinab. How may I help you all today? We have a few visitors to town, and of course, they had to stop by one of the true highlights of the city. Are they adventurers? I'm something of an adventurer. I was on a boat once. <sighs> Rain, you know she loathes adventurers. She fucking hates them. Rain will just be like, I'm sorry. All right, so let's go over the rules first and foremost. Rule number one, I don't care how pretty you are, there will be no discounts, no exceptions. I don't care how important your job, your mission is, you are not worth a discount in my shop. Okay? Self-righteous, self-entitled little pricks. Ugh. Rule number two. <laughs> yup, she is... Her one quality is she loathes adventurers. Rule no, number that's two. That's good. I'm not an adventurer. I'm a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Call yourself whatever you want. <laughs> Rule number two. The prices are stagnant. If you break it, you buy it. If you can't buy it, I will have one of my contraptions break your legs. It's legal. She looks over at you, Raina. They didn't pass that new bill, did they? It's still stuck in the uh, second draft. It's legal. <laughs> so, what can I help you all with today? Staring into the void. Uh, do you have any like horse? Anything like a horse? Like a horse? Yes. Or a horse. I don't have horses. I have things like horses. Ooh, okay, that works. This beautiful statuette. She starts wandering to the third boxcar, and she pulls it off the stat off the uh, podium, which it's a full obsidian, tiny little horse. Once a day can act like a real horse. Oh my gosh. The price on this is eight thousand gold. Drake like holds back vomit real quick. Just <laughs> it's not Moose counts. Moose starts counting his own gold. <laughs> you stopped before eight thousand. <laughs> what? What can twenty five gold buy me? Some pretty rocks up by the front. We have them for the kids whose parents are serious buyers. Ooh, rocks. Everyone just buys rocks. <laughs> I got a rock. <sighs> so. <laughs> Ray just like turns and looks at Drake, just like, oh, fuck. Did you hear the first rule? <laughs> Sorry, wrong voice. Did you hear the first rule? No discounts? No negotiating? Yeah, you listen. And for that, I mean, I'll deduct the cost of your rock by one copper. We should probably buy one of those rocks. How much are the rocks? One gold each. A fucking rock? They're very shiny and they click clack very nicely as well. They're shaping beautifully. Which I'm gonna look at the rocks. Are they fucking dice? They are. Ooh. All different shapes of dice. I am so <laughs> glad this is my character and not me. <laughs> <laughs> you. All right. Where's the, what's on the credit card? Right. Just <laughs> pretty uh, click clacks. <laughs> for a gold piece for each, they better be loaded dice. <laughs> uh, Moose, what'd you ask? How big are they compared to me? Roughly. This big compared to me, and I'm three of moose. So to you, they fit in like the palm of your hand comfortably. 
with it's you like being able whole, to like wrap around it. It's like your whole fist. <laughs> you know, like those really big dice people get that are like obnoxious to roll. That's nope. what they do. Those are ten gold. No, no, no. We don't want those. We They're have big. the large one that has the smaller one inside. That's fine. We don't know. We're good. I hear those don't work well at all. You can barely read the one on the inside. <laughs> Nurse is transfixed at the moment. Pretty click clacks. Uh, are you looking at all of them, Moose? Yes. Roll me an investigation. <laughs> you have successfully distracted the Moose. <laughs> Ten. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's purple ones, there's pink ones, there's blue ones, there's white ones, there's black ones. Uh, there's ones with glitter, there's ones that sparkle. There are some that are made out of gems. There are some that feel a little metallic. Uh, there are most of them that feel cheap and lightweight, uh, but they're still very vibrant and hand-printed and pretty as well. I'm gonna find... I'm gonna find some that just click together nicely. <laughs> Click, 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 click. Just listening for it. Okay. So two metal ones probably click the best. Are you going for D20s, D8s, D6s, D10s, D12s? How much for a set? D4s. Oh, you want a full set. Well, we do sell them in sets, but those are a bit more expensive, uh, considering you get yourself 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 20. Seven dice, uh, we discount it down to five gold, but you can't mix and match. You just get the whole set. How much for a metal set? Eight gold. He like pushes eight gold. And roll me a d6. You get a set of thin silver dice that have black etchings. For the numbers. We're playing D D, guys. Now you just bought your first dice set. Moose Who's like ready to holds... start a game inside of a game? <laughs> Moose is like holding it up, like they're basically covering his head when he's holding it all. And it's just like crawling or like walking back into the satchel. And stays in there. In the giant bin of dice, are some of the dice actually their numbers in order instead of random? Uh, roll an investigation. You can you can hear occasional clicks from um, inside the satchel. <laughs> so, Palando, uh, not that you find at a first moment's glance. Okay. Good. I didn't want to spin down anyways. Um, thank you, Mardnab, for the uh, intro to your shop. I think that we have a few other things that we need to to do today, but... Of course. And it's always a pleasure to stop by. As per usual, it's nice to have you as well, Raina. Um, you're going to make sure that Bill doesn't get past, right? Because, like, there's not so much allure when I can't actually break their kneecaps. You know, that's a really good incentive for them not to steal from me. She, like, points to the gigantic great sword on her back, and she's <laughs> like, I understand. Yeah. All of these new age kids just don't understand. Fear. It's a good motivator. I mean, you know who my mom is. You hear a are. bellow from <laughs> Moose's satchel. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. And then she's like, bye, and then, like, and lead the way out. Um... Dorena's working on... Wonderful evening. You getting... as well. Dorena's getting supplies. Yep. I really need just a few minutes um, to myself. Uh, do you want to head back to the estate? Does anyone have anything else they want to do? Uh, Drake, I know you said you... Gonna try some grease and palms for horses. Sure, we can we can attempt to. Alrighty. So there's only one place in town that sells horses. Uh, though you don't have much experience with them because of reasons. 
Um, it is called the Merry Bird up here. It is an exotic animal and mount shop. Exotic animal. Ah, everything's expensive here. Oh, it's there is like an actual like mount shop, but it's exotic animals and then a mount shop. You need to get like a dire rat for moose to ride. That I'm seems not into that. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> uh, I have goats. It'll work. Um. Dire goat. We have established the dire goat. Dire goats exist. Um, a mouse riding a rat. That's just that's too good. That would break Facebook. <laughs> I mean, some cultures have tried something similar to that, and people are up in arms about it all the time. So, uh, do we want to head there or? Yes, we can hit that. That would work. I mean, yeah. I walk everywhere. Oh, before I met him. Yeah, I mean, we walked all across the continent. We could definitely just walk there. You're walking to the Merry Bird? Was that the debate? No, we were talking about walking to the Bridge Burners area. Oh, right okay, okay. Because I was about to say, that's like, you know, 250... Do, 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 do. No, we're that bougie. We call a uh, we call an Uber <laughs> <laughs> to go two blocks. <laughs> you person with a cart, take me there. But what about my corn? Sits, take me there. <laughs> we're not that kind of noble. <clears throat> You're not. <clears throat> True. Do I see Jezebel leaving? Who? Just uh, I was like the lady that I talked to. Jezebel. I thought it was like Jezebel for some reason. No, the gnome. No, the, the Griselda. Like, Griselda, yeah, that was it. She leaves in six hours. She's not oh, leaving I thought yet. It's been like an hour or so. It's been oh. an hour, yes. Oh, and you guys crazy. are pretty far away from that building. Remember, this is this is like New York City equivalent of like size, or more appropriately, I'd say like Boston. Not the largest city, but the population is pretty dense. It looks like it's around the corner, but it's actually half a mile on the map. Yeah. So anyways, you all wander your way. Where are you going? Are you just leaving? To the Merry Bird. Already. I like this shop. So as you all walk through the front, you hear the bell. Ding, 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 ding. And you're all hit with the smell of wild animals refuse and stench just general smell of animals in this location you hear the menagerie that persists in here there's these ooh, ooh, ah, ah creatures there's these cockadoodle doing creatures there's loud humming creatures there's there's everything that you can hear and as you all walk inside you look forward at a half orc female whose turns looks at all of you and dressing in a very very formal manner um this pouch on her side that presumably has some type of material in it as it looks at, like it's sagging very heavily and her wavy golden hair accents her large tusks very well as she just turns and looks at all of you um as she looks over you all notice that she has what appears to be scorch marks down her face that look very fresh hello hello hi today oh, nice. oh i'm doing great how are all of you wonderful we no, were just on, sorry go ahead. in the market for uh possibly purchasing some some grand mounts to go forward i think mm -hmm. we need to rent <coughs> renting possibly or layaway i'm not sure if you all what you are in your purchasing options stick uh moose sticking his head out they want something called a horse Oh, well, aren't you adorable? 
I've seen these eyes before. Oh. Not for sale. I, excuse me, my business is 100% legitimate. We deal in exotic animals only. Now, do you all have horses as well? Well, of course we do, but animals only was the important aspect. <laughs> yes, no one would want to sell something like that. <sighs> But I'm sure the horses are harder to sell. You know, everyone hears about exotic animals and, you know, the horses just kind of sit there sometimes. Well, I mean, we do have exotic mounts, if you're curious as well. Blondo, sure. Oh, no, no. I, I think maybe another time. But definitely remember to come to a place like this. You know, it's such a fine establishment run by... Oh, you know, that silver tongue. I better get you in trouble, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, supporting. Maybe too much trouble. <laughs> Moose is immediately hiding back. <laughs> it just doesn't even say, just laughs along with. Yeah. But, um, you know, I think supporting local businesses, especially those owned, you know, a woman owned business. And I think something owning, like, you know, supporting something like that is very important. How did you know I was the owner? I can just tell it. They're just about you. The way you were speaking about your business. Mm. It just comes with it. Oh, stop. All right. All right. Well, let us begin business. My name is Mav Blith. Mav, it is wonderful to meet you. I am Armand Goldman. Or Maeve. Maeve Blith. Mav Maeve. is a different person here. Yeah. Maeve. Maeve. Wondrous to meet you as well. And she sticks her hand downwards at you. I'll, keep, I'll, I'll do a kiss on yeah. your hand. Um, yeah. It definitely... Smells like shit. It smells like shit. She deals with animals all day long. <laughs> um, Palando. That silver tongue gets me in trouble. Yep. <laughs> Palando, 16 insight. Well, you see, the thing is... What are you inciting? Like her legitimacy? Uh, the thing, yeah, the thing about her dealing with animals. Elaborate. Because, yes, animals. she deals with animals. No, it's, does she deal with other stuff, too? Oh, you imagine, like, that was more of, like, a showman type of response to give out to everybody. I mean, she doesn't strike you as somebody who's deliberately giving you all of the information willfully, but she doesn't seem malicious, though okay. you've interacted with her for 30 seconds. So, right. yeah. I am going to go over to Sebastian and be like, hey, I'll... uh I'll take the satchel back for now, if that's all right. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. All right. Like keep them close. Let's all go out to the stables. And she, like, picks up a set of keys attached to a stick and walks over towards the door, opens More it. keys? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, keys. Uh, opens the door and ushers all of you out. All right, come on, shoo, 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 shoo. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, hi, keys. Kai's looks o Keys looks over and goes, oh, you're so big. She pats him on the head. Oh, God. Closes the door, locks it, locks a second lock, locks a third lock. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk around to the rear side of this building, you do see that there's a large canopy and outside um stables for horses and other choice animals uh once you get back here the roof extends about 30 feet up above you and spreads outwards for about 20 feet or so it's a very large area and as soon as you look inside you realize why although in front of you you see goats you see horses then you see camels then you see incredibly fat cows and then an elephant. How much for the cow? The plains cow? Yes. Oh, well, Betsy is purchase only, unfortunately. And she is 80 gold. Guys, we could actually probably afford this. 90 gold if you want bit brittle and feed. What does it eat? Grass. Oh, then uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Hmm. 
what? How? Okay, okay. What you said there was a cam? How much for the camel? I don't even know what a camel is. What well, about this hairy thing? Humps. You point up at the large thing. Uh, it has two humps upon it. Oh, that is a creature that's much more adapt to living in hostile and very hot environments where water is very scarce. They call them camels. 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 And she does that with her hand when she says it. Oh, I'm gonna use the hand to say it. caramel. <laughs> Camels. So the area what were you saying, Drake? Is... Oh. Sorry, sorry. What were you saying, Drake? So I was just asking if I can tell that she's trying to make it sound way fancier than what it is. Uh, yeah, because you do that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're proficient in deception, right? Can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't knock a. I can't knock a person working it there. Exactly. Yeah, you, you are proficient. You, you know, game recognizes game. <laughs> like <laughs> real recognizes real, right? Yeah. I um, sure. Ran a little <laughs> nudge Drake in the ribs. <clears throat> yes, the the camel is quite lovely. All mm. the stock in here, I'm sure, is. <clears throat> I'm gonna just whisper over to Raina. You might want to check them out and make sure they're good. Well, what are we looking for? Riding horses or she looks the larger folk up and down. I need you all to give me charisma saving throws or you're looking for something a little bigger to handle like a war horse, you know, something that can valiantly ride into battle with you. Hmm? Who needs to make charisma saving throws? What, what is she doing? Is she trying to charm us? Uh, yes. So you do have advantage. Yep. All of the half elves have advantage. Using my game. Okay. Aren't you, uh, no, you're so, Sebastian. Okay. Sebastian, you are immune to this. Uh, Drake, you are immune to this. Palando and Nobu, you know, she's got a really good point. Reyna, you just barely succeeded. She can't look at me. I'm in the click clack sack. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Reyna and Nobu, you're both like. E or not Reyna, uh, Nobu and Palando, you're both like a war horse does sound appropriate. Palando, you imagine like you could ride on top of it while standing and leap and tumble around the battlefield and run back up and jump on top like it would be so. Oh, dude, you could totally do that parkour. Oh, yeah. If I can move 50 feet quickly and it can move 50 feet quickly, that's 100 feet quickly. It, it does sound quite quickly. <laughs> it does sound fast now. Did I <laughs> It's not really how horses work. Oh, but, yeah, the math yeah. checks out. Don't worry. How much for the war horse? The war horses are 150 gold each. <clears throat> Anybody got 150 <laughs> gold pieces I could borrow? I, I, can, I have a scroll of sending, and I can get us the money. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Um, no, that's, wait. We, we need a carriage, and a war horse is not I knocked out my headphones. <laughs> what did y'all say? Uh, I was just saying that we need something that can pull a carriage, and a wool horse is not necessarily... Oh, they can obviously pull anything. You see you see these front muscles around their legs, and she accents, and like yeah. she lifts the bottom hoof, and it flexes. Ooh, chunky. We just uh, need to go up... We're, we're... Basically, we need to go to the bridge burners to get tattoos, and then we're coming back. How much to rent a couple horses for that? Couple of horses. Ah, well, do you need the cart as well? Would we, do we need a cart? Like out of character, would I be able to borrow a, a cart? Just not anything that's living. <laughs> you could borrow one from the family estate, but it's the one that they use to move the harvest from the garden to the main house, which is, you know, roughly 300 feet. Um, Did I recognize what she tried? Oh, yeah, that's called being a salesperson. Oh, I wasn't sure if it was an actual... It wasn't like a magical effect. No, if it was or not, okay. No, no, no. Since I have so many players who believe that they are due to roll persuasion against my NPCs, I've upgraded some of my NPCs. What? <laughs> it's not you. It's my other games that make me do this. 
I was really hoping because I was going to bring the lawyer out. <laughs> yes, we would. The lyre would still well. work for this. It's still a charm, even though it's not magical. Some people are just charismatic. This is true. I, I myself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have one of these war caramels. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're pronounced chamels. <laughs> It's Camels. My bad. War Chapel. <laughs> we're no, they don't come rent, as war. We're looking to rent two horses and a carriage. Fine. Look, it's good business for you. Rain Where up. are you headed? We're going to the bridge burners. Oh, that's not terribly far. Yeah. Any of you know how to handle a land vehicle? A what? Do any of you have proficiency in land vehicles? I wish somebody would actually say in game, like, do you know how to properly, like, steer a land vehicle? Yeah. <laughs> I, I have water vehicles. Oh, I, I'm proficient. I can do it. Are you lying? Yeah. Roll deception. You know nautical miles, Sebastian, not action. Uh, that wasn't very good. Yeah, real miles hold are on, so much on, easier. How the fuck does it not translate, Link? <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't get bigger the further away it is? What? <laughs> How long does a? Uh, oh, never mind. You, uh, before he says if it's good or not, you still have a bardic kid. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I totally forgot about that. It might be gone now. I'm not sure. D six. Roll your D six. No, it hasn't been ten minutes yet. Okay, thank God. No. Eleven. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm a noble. We ride horses. Please, would you like to demonstrate? She walks to the back and lifts up a carriage by herself and drags it out here. You know, on wheels, but still. And then escorts one of the horses outwards, the war horse in particular. Um, would you mind demonstrating, setting up the bit brittle, getting everything, the harnesses situated for me? Uh, usually I have my uh, people do it. Like, Ulrich, come over here. Set it up for me while I get ready to ride. <laughs> Rain just, like, looks at him, and it's another one of those, I'm so sorry. Looks. Ulrich walks over slowly. <laughs> Roll me a D100. Let's see if that's one it. of his proficiencies from his background. What are the odds? <laughs> He starts setting up the harness, getting it situated. Gets everything connected and sl snaps it into place onto the carriage and then just flicks his rolled up smoke. Thank you, Ulrich. <laughs> Get on top of the carriage. As you're about to step up, he kind of like holds his hand up, climbs up himself because he actually knows how to handle this. I can do it. Oh, OK. I'm just going to sit there next to him. I'm assuming we're going to be away for a couple of weeks, right? That's more M use. How long? How far is this place? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> we're headed, we're, you're the, the only one that knows where we're going. The bridge burner <laughs> should probably take us about three days to get there, in all honesty. Going at the rate of everybody else's convenience. Yeah, go, go, go there. Gonna look at Reyna. Is that not? Is that what? Is that not where we're going? We're going to where his people are. I thought we were going to the bridge burners. Yeah, it would take three days to get to the bridge burners from here. It's like 60 plus miles. 
Okay. Well, I think other people in the party thought we were getting horses to go to visit Moose's. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought you guys said you're going to the bridge burners. I thought we were going to the bridge burners. Right? Like, that's what you guys said. I asked. <laughs> the bridge burners is a pit stop on the way there, right? Yeah. I yeah. It was like a yeah, stop yeah, yeah. You have to get thing. to the bridge burners to go up the mountain to Moose. Do you have any idea where they actually are located? I could probably find tracks. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. How many days? Because that's the real answer we need. Well, we'll need a few days on top of travel time. So, about two weeks, probably. Yes. Oh. Alright, looks like we'll be away for three we two weeks. That's phenomenal. Really fun stuff. I'm glad you're excited about this. Me too. Yeah, he yeah, smiles at you. <laughs> No, I think a war horse we don't really need. Maybe just some sturdy <laughs> pulling horses. We don't need to take them into war. I mean, we want to bring what? them. But I can't stand on top of the regular horses as well as I could the war horse. To stand on the horse, you travel as fast as one, well, okay? Yeah, we'll go double if I stand on top of it. No. <laughs> the math checks out. <laughs> you should <Maeve>, know. <laughs> um, how much, please? The war horse, if you're just renting it, is going to be a 90 gold deposit. In case so the, the regular horses. The regular horses are 50 gold deposit for two of them. Or 50 gold deposit for two of them, because that's what it requires to pull the carriage with you. Um, But because who you all are, We'll call it at 45 gold. And when you come back, you get the five gold rebate on top of that. Hmm? What What about the Kamels? The Kamels are 150 each. Oh, wow. Those are really good. Think they about... are very good creatures. Yeah, well worth every we penny. Are. You don't have to feed them or give them water except every two weeks. I really want one of these. Right, like the and that's, uh... you're like it's like Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rain. Um, well, we'll talk to your mother the next time um, we're in Morian about the. <sighs> Would she know that it's a camel and not a camel? Uh, are you familiar with the Fira territory at all? Like deep fear and not just the outlining border of it. Do you oh, have anything in your back then? No. If anybody has something in their backstory that says, I spent time in Fira, uh, you would know about camels. Um, we'll talk to your mom about one of them um, later. At With six of us, that's seven and a half gold each. Well, then you also need to pay for the uh, carriage. Right, right. So what would be our total? Uh, Well, with the discount for the two horses, probably another 15 gold on top of that brings you up to 60 gold total. Which would be 10 apiece. Yeah. Not bad at all. How about we talk about something else? You know, word of mouth is a very important thing, bringing business to you. Hmm... I like talking. Do you have a logo or brand we could put on the side of the carriage? It's or already on it. Uh, shit. What about one you could give us, like a shirt we should wear? Like over. Are you asking to be ambassadors of my company? I don't. I think Ulrich would love that. But I think I think the thing that could be good is connecting you with people who use a large amount of horses, who need a large amount of horses. People darling, who... darling, I am the only son of a bitch who sells at this side of the Terra territory. You have a point. You have a fair point. I monopolized this business. You definitely, you definitely took advantage of that. Yep. What about excellent? Selling exotics in Morian. I am the only shop that does that. In Morian? Of course. My only competition is out in, uh, you know, Wake. Morian is in Wake. 
I thought there was a exotic. Oh, shop sorry, Morian. I apologize. Yeah, I'm thinking of Mida right now. Uh, no, she does not sell out of Morian. So like, now she's a little interested. You see, um, having people. my aunt is the is it queen there? Uh, she's the ruler, governess. The governess uh, is my aunt, and this is my cousin, her son. <coughs> She immediately positions herself a little better and looks at you and goes, oh, you are the handsome and incredibly intelligent Nobu, aren't you? Yes. I'm glad I, you recognize me. I heard that you were coming through town. Insight. Go yeah. for it. <laughs> yeah, I... I'm just assuming everything she says is bullshit. Like, I, I'm just... Sure. Just the assumption at this point, but I mean, you got to play the game. Oh, that, yeah, that, yeah. That turn of of uh, posture. I... Wow, this is such a sick. um ten. She's actually shifted her personality about five times through this entire interaction. If you pay close attention to it, it okay. seems to be like something she just does. Like her mood, her posture, like everything just shifts. Exactly. Periodically, yeah. But if you're saying that you would maybe sign a contract saying that I am allowed to set up a shop over in Morian? As a lawyer, I will have to take a look at that as his lawyer. Lawyer? I pull out my documentation of being a lawyer. <laughs> she takes it from you. We'll um, investigate it. <laughs> It's it's real. It's from my background, the charlatan background. It is an identical copy of it with all of my proper documentation of being a lawyer. Uh, Nobu, roll a history check. I will mention to Nobu that I don't know if he's authorized to give this woman a contract <laughs> in Morian. Putting a good word. That's not what she's asking for. <laughs> are you asking out loud? Are you saying that out loud, Sebastian? Like, clear as day? I will quietly, like, mention to him, I was like, I don't know if you should sign I, something here. Hey, maybe we'll get a camel. And worst thing comes to worst, I'll just. Roll, don't worry. I roll, can talk to my mom. Roll me a sleight of hand check, Sebastian. And I am rolling a. Uh, you know, I'll just make it her passive. Yeah, she. Your use my advantage. <laughs> your documentation checks out one hundred percent, and I assume you hand her a business card. I do. I do as well. Hand a business card, and I've already introduced myself as Armand Gold when mm -hmm. we first came in here. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, twelve sleight of hand. Twelve. All right, all right. She takes the documentation, hands it back, and goes. So, will you be willing to sign a contract for me? Yeah, if my lawyer looks over it and uh, I, I absolutely. Mean, if you have a scroll of sending or somebody that knows a spell, I can what? find out right now. What? What? A uh, what if? A uh, what of what? Oh, something that allows me to send a message for far distance. Thanks. Oh, messenger hawk. We actually no, sell that, those too. Oh no, I don't want one of those. That sounds like a lot of work. And Gary oh, they like upkeep it. themselves. They are such good hunters. And I don't think Moose would like it. There's a quiver from the satchel. How much is a messenger hawk? They cost the 200 quivering. gold. If you want mm. ones that are already house trained. Can I borrow 200 gold? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you willing to give me if I sign this contract? If you sign this contract as is, I will let you take all of these rental service free of charge. I read over this contract. Yeah, please read over the contract. Oh, well, if we're doing it that way, I think I just cut you a better discount then. Hand you the contract then. Oh, signing it. Oh, oh. Throw in a camel and I won't read anything. Roll persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> that I can keep. Yeah. <laughs> a 
Damn it. Mm, she's not going with that one. Damn it. Camels are a bit too expensive to risk on this. I love the camel. What's that thing? I'm going to point to the elephant. Oh, that is the guardian elephantus. Mm, can mm. you make it a war guardian elephantus? Does it have a hoda? <laughs> we could get them. I'm gonna, I know a guy. I'm going to pop that's out of the Sasquatch. Yes, focused. Moose. Yes, Moose. I'm going to pop out of the Sasquatch and stare at the elephant. It looks over at you. What are the odds that elephants are actually afraid of mice? Fairly high, because in every show they are. Actually, it's mostly due to the fact that they hate anything that could damage their feet. Okay. Uh, what number? Say your number, guys. 70. 70? Oof. The elephant looks over at you. And the trunk reaches over towards you, Moose, with a tiny little bit of hay. Offering it to you. Moose nipples on the hay. And it pats you on the head with its trunk. And then the trunk comes back. How much for this thing? That is 500 gold. We need to stay focused, everyone. Can I borrow 500 gold? <laughs> Drake, roll your investigation, sir. Yep. <sighs> Are you proficient in any type of calligraphers or uh, what's the... Uh, I mean, I'm proficient in... Uh, where is it? Forgery. Forgery, yes. Yes, I am. Okay, I will give you... Proficiency on your investigation check. I already am. Don't worry. All right, then advantage. Fuck it. Lovely. 21. Now, there is wording inside of this documentation that needs to be amended. Uh, first of all, it was stating by lending these horses to you and the carriage, um, you would agree to have an official notice positioned in one of the buildings as well as pay for the down payment upon the building for them to start moving their items and... Uh, inventory out there to begin selling as well as get her a signed documentation stating that she is going to be allowed to start selling failure to do so on either of those accounts would mean that both of you would be indebted to her based off of the mita law and rules which does have a statement that they, she is legally allowed to pay someone to break your kneecaps um that you would have to owe her 300 gold for not following no. through now i'm sure we i'm sure this was just easily overlooked in this contract here and i'm going to point towards the uh the posting for paying for the building and uh and taking care of that the notary stating that we were basically supporting her also a sign to notice that she had freedom to uh basically everything you just said I yeah 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 well, I'm keeping failure to comply with your half of the contract in mind. That is staying no matter what. Indeed. I think, I think a fair notice would be giving you a fair shake at meeting those in charge over there. Now, now. I thought you said he was. I am. See? Sometimes. Roll deception, no bill. <laughs> As you're yeah. just tapping your fishbowl. <laughs> In 10 years, then mother goes. All these deception rolls if you're poor. That's a fuck. That's a short time spent you're going to give her. She sees through it. This gentleman is ideally placed to get you the audience. And seeing as how there are, I would know this, there are no other like exotic shops and places like that. There, Morian right? has an exotic shop, yes, but only one. Not so tied out one. I know they have one. Uh, and they no longer do. What about this? We can guarantee an audience 
with a governess. As well as favor of word. Absolutely. From both of you. Absolutely. And we pay 20. Sebastian, they're really trying to not let you roll. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> You're the best one at it. <laughs> well, they can keep talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but we got the nobility factor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he has the dealing with merchants factor. <laughs> Talking to the people, because yeah. I'm not a noble. I gotta make a good deal. <laughs> He's a person. Like, yeah. <laughs> but well, anyways, yeah. The struggle's real. I only have ten gold. <laughs> Same. Sebastian, Sebastian, if you can get her Yo. to throw a camel in there, I'll give you as much money as you need. Uh, no, it's that good. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sebastian, is that? Do you think that that is fair? Yeah, we can definitely get an audience and. You are definitely doing us a huge favor in this interaction that, that is not going to be disregarded. Hmm. But we can't make guarantees of... And how about a public statement from the wolf here in Maida about my generous services and my phenomenal care and efficient care as well. You know what? I'll just tell you what to say and put it in writing and hand it to you if that's easier. It I'll do sounds that. reasonable, and I'll turn to Reyna and see if she agrees. She'll nod, and at this point, she's just like... You are putting your reputation on the line, by the way, Reyna. That's your word. It means something here. People trust you. And and I think, I mean, just from my <laughs> being... I know she doesn't have direct um, experience a lot with um, the shop, but has she known, like, heard rumors or anything like that that it's being mistreated or... Roll history. I'm going to use my recap advantage. Okay. There are rumors that some of the animals that she gains she gains through unreputable individuals. Not necessarily always the up and up. Uh, she definitely has dealings with the bridge burners themselves, of course. Um, but whenever people have custom orders of animals, one rule she has is she will not do anything just for game. Not get an animal for people to hunt under any circumstances and she finds out if she sells an animal to somebody and they do that um she is half work and she uh, will well she has burnt down houses of those individuals and beat the people on their front lawn make it about your integrity up towards hunting and we're got it hmm We'll call it 50% off for all that. Hmm? Sounds good. Alrighty. Sebastian, do you... Drake, I assume you've been amending the contract actively this whole conversation? Indeed, I have. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what is expected is Nobu and Reyna will give her diplomatic favor and opportunity to talk to Reagan. Not Reagan. Uh, Rico. Rico? Riku. Riku. Uh, so Ri many R's. Rika. Riku. Riku, okay. <laughs> Onomatopoeia. Uh, to talk with her as well as give your best persuasions towards her to agree to this task to set up over there. Uh, in addition, Reyna will make a public statement here in Maida sometime within the coming months of this. Yeah, go for it. Of this interaction. I imagine every time we pull in somewhere new, we go in the tower and just, man, that ride was so smooth thanks to the horses provided by the Merry Bird. <laughs> <laughs> just put Palando on it. He's <laughs> when I find myself on long journeys, nothing feels better than <laughs> the Merry Bird. The comforts Ooh. or the carts are uncomparable. <laughs> Look, those horses move almost as fast as I do. <laughs> I, and the cup holders are steady. 
don't lose any of your drink, which is what Rain's going to do when we get back to the estate. Good suspension. <laughs> There's no alcohol at the estate, right? Rain has smuggled a bottle in. Rain has her alcohol. There's no other alcohol there. We're going to have to make a liquor run before we go back. Alrighty, so uh, the previous pricing for Bit Brittle, Two Horses, rental, by the way, all of this is rental, um, was going to leave you just shy of 80 gold with a discount that goes down to 40 gold. That is every accommodation you need in order to functionally travel across the landscape. However, if you were interested in purchase, it is 250 gold, half price down to 125. But you have to pay right now. You can't IOU or anything like that. I don't think we oh. have 125 total as a group. Maybe. I'm just letting you guys know. We'll do rental. <laughs> Guys, these, I hope these horses don't get hurt. Yeah, because if they do, you have to pay full price. And unfortunate for you, Reyna, they know where you live. <laughs> ah, sucks to suck. <laughs> so I'll put, um, I'll put seven in. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll... Seven of the 40? Mm -hmm. I put oh. 25 in. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll you forgot the last noble <laughs> like, yeah. i can put 25 in if everyone is everyone still putting seven i'll put eight that'll make it the 40 yeah we only need to get to 40 not 80 <laughs> so you know, no, I, was, I was gonna see if she'd throw in a camel if i threw an extra uh. yeah, rent a camel of no horse, she will know. not rent the can come out come out to you <laughs> really nobody really wants one of these things so you're paying 25 uh, no, I'm just paying seven then. All so right, so that'll like be seven times six. So that Four leaves two. a remainder of two gold. Okay, I can cover it. Never mind. I'll take it over. 16. Huh? Yeah. Huh? I'll cover the remainder two. No, I mean remainder oh, to all of you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I think comes out to 12. Wait, two gold is 20 silver divided by six. I don't need it. Divided by five is four silver each. So each of you remove seven gold. I'll do that to Moose. Yeah, so take off seven gold. And oh, Moose doesn't gold. have seven gold. Uh, I'll, how much, I'll cover his what does seven. What he have? Three. <laughs> uh, have him put in one, and then I'll put it in <laughs> and we'll both be at two gold. Okay. Unless, okay. Moose, you already removed it and you are back already. Okay, he, he the didn't. Dice. Yeah, he yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. His priorities. <laughs> yep. So he paid the one. Uh, so Polando was seven. So it's one second. Let me do maths here. Uh, seven times five plus one means four gold remaining. Polando, if you hug, if you throw in four gold, it's golden. And then nobody gets silver. Nobu Jr. will discuss my retainer later. What? What? <laughs> you know that word. You're a noble. <laughs> Thank you, Maeve, very much for Of your course. Mom. Are you going and to be leaving yeah. very soon? Should I start getting it all situated and together for you? In the morning. You? In the morning. I'll be sure to bring it by well, your estate. What right time is it right now? Uh, midday. Didn't we just wake up? Yeah, yeah, it's like midday by now. Remember, walking back leave? to town probably took you an hour or two. I mean, do we need to stay? Why don't we just leave? I'm down to leave now. Can we pick it up in a couple hours to take it back to the estate and then head uh, out from there since it's on the north side? Ulrich will go over to you, Raina, and go, I would greatly appreciate leaving tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow morning. Thank All you. Right. And um, she'll, like, nod at Mav, like, walk out with Ulrich yeah. um, just a few feet ahead of everyone and be like, I'm so sorry about uh, Jane It yeah. Uh can I be dismissed for the evening? I'm not going to be back for a couple of weeks, so. Yeah, go right ahead. All right, thank you. And he just wanders off. Uh places the fish bowl on the ground and then walks off. Oh, please take it with you. Truly <laughs> <Take dairy. laughs> So, um before we set out tomorrow, um we do need to have a conversation, everyone, um, and back at the estate. 
Alrighty. So, you all head back to the estate. And because I know the conversation that's going to transpire, this is where we're stopping for the evening on the stream. However, when we come back to next week, everybody will be level three. So thank you all very much for playing. Thank you all for watching as well. And I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Remember to give us a like, follow, subscribe, and to watch us live at twitch.tv slash Joey. See you all around.